that there's no God, but there's one God. Whether you worship, whether you worship, accept Allah. Accept Allah. And I be in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We're back at the Y Islam Dawah Road Trip. It's day six, and we are in Winston Salem. We are actually in the Masjid uh, Community Mosque of Winston Salem. I'm here with Imam Khalid Griggs. So, what are some of the, uh, I guess, Dawah initiatives that uh, this community has taken uh, forth? I think since the inception of the mosque, <clears throat> the primary thrust has been giving Dawah to non Muslims. Uh, We've had teams of brothers going through various neighborhoods and public housing areas and uh, downtown areas over the years. And in recent years, we've engaged a lot more with the interfaith community. Now, the, this workshop uh, has re-energized and tried to help focus us and refocus us about the necessity to take Dow out to the community. Uh, I'm sure that we will, inshallah, that we will have more initiatives uh, going out uh, that in, over the past few years we may not have been as active <clears throat> as we should have been. Uh, we would like to engage with Y Islam and the, take advantage of the training uh, that we've got today and the opportunity to have the kind of appropriate literature to distribute in the community. Scholars, they say, that the most important people on earth are the ones that do that, whether it's to non-Muslims or to Muslims in the uh, context of uh, inviting people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why is that? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, who is better in speech than the one who says, uh, uh, who calls to the way of his word and says, indeed, I am of the Muslims. Uh, so do you mind if I ask you a question about this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I've been looking a lot on the news and stuff. It's the only way for me, you know, to hear kind of about you guys. Uh, and I'm seeing a lot of violent actions that you guys are doing. Are, like, are you going to kill me? Or? I mean, no, actually, it's something you may not know that the origin, the meaning of Islam is actually peace. And the like second mention about suicide bombings and killing and stuff like that, um, you have to look at it like people have their own actions and they have their own, uh, you know, they, they sit on their own and stuff like that. That doesn't account for the actual whole religion. So Islam is peace, but the people that you know do these suicide bombs and stuff like that are particularly just doing out of their own free will. This is not the religion of Islam. Well, I mean, I In the Quran it sets a challenge, it says if you believe if you don't believe this is the word of God, then make one chapter like it. And it's in the Arabic language, so the greatest Arabic scholar, the greatest Arabic linguist of all time, he tried to make one, and he said, after a year, they came to him and he said, I let that task go a long time ago because I found no one can make, uh, make chapters like the Quran. Because the way it said, imagine an entire book that rhymes, an entire book that says things, one word can have three different meanings. The Quran itself is a book that no man can make. Ashhadu. An la ilaha il Allah. Wa ashhadu an na Muhammadan Rasulullah. My name is Hussein Lawrence from Winston Salem. Today we went out um, in Winston Salem downtown and we did a little dawah at the bus station. Um, a very humbling and good experience. Um, I thought giving dawah was impossible. But now going through this process, um, I know that I can actually go out in my community and do Dawah at any given point. Um, I met with uh, the Dawah team for Y Islam today, and it really inspired me after learning about experiences of some of my friends um, that I should definitely go out and give Dawah at it. So you came from nothing, created yourself, or the universe created itself, or something else created you. And you tell this person, you say, let's just use logic. Let's kind of go down this list, which one could it possibly be? Would you agree by that, by the nature of God, that God has to be an all-powerful being? Yes, they'll agree with you. Would you believe that God, by His nature, He's ever-living, He never dies, right? He agrees with you. He's all-knowing, all, all of that. Name a couple attributes. Okay. If He's all-powerful and ever-living, and He's all-powerful and ever-living, if they were to fight, who will win the fight? It doesn't make sense. 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today is day six of the Y Slam Dawa road trip. Today we were in Winston Salem and Burlington, North Carolina. Our first stop was in Community Mosque of Winston Salem with Imam Khalid Griggs. And afterwards we went out for street dawa and Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we had six people accept Islam in just about two hours of da'wah. Alhamdulillah, afterwards we did a little workshop in Burlington, North Carolina. Alhamdulillah, that went great as well. And inshallah, it's a wrap for today. Inshallah, we'll keep you updated on what we're doing in the Y Slam Da'wah road trip. Stay tuned for more. Assalamu alaikum.